It's official. Bongbong Marcos and Sara Duterte will run as a tandem in the 2022 elections. Bongbong makes the announcement late Tuesday night, November 16. He says his party, Partido Federal ng Pilipinas, and Sara's new party, Lakas CMD, have agreed to push a unified ticket. EFP adopted Sara as its vice presidential candidate over the weekend when she filed her candidacy for vice president. Sara says she and Lakas CMD have asked the ruling party PDP Laban to support her and Marcos. Her father's party declined. Instead, the PDP Laban Kusi faction is supporting the presidential bid of President Rodrigo Duterte's longtime aide, Senator Bongo. At a dinner with around 100 lawmakers Tuesday, Duterte endorses Go for president and his daughter Sara for vice president. Malacanang confirms One of the lawyers of formerly executives Twinkle and Mohit Dargani used to work for the office of the president. The name of the lawyer is Daryl Richie Valles. A 2018 directory of Malacanang officials on the Office of the President website lists down Valles as having served as a director in the Office of the Special Assistant to the President or OSAP. The OSAP was especially created for Bong Go, who, from 2016 to 2018, served as Special Assistant to the President. In late 2018, he resigned to run for senator. A palace source says Valles worked under OSAP since 2016. Acting presidential spokesperson Carlo Nograles on Wednesday, November 17, says the lawyer resigned on March 1, 2021. Senators have long accused family pharmaceuticals of benefiting from ties to Malacanang in its bid to corner huge government contracts. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. An Ateneo School of Government study says President Rodrigo Duterte supporters have lower accuracy in distinguishing correct from false information. The survey also finds that in contrast, student supporters of Vice President Lenny Robredo are more likely to identify fake news and real news. The findings come from two rounds of surveys conducted by Bosses Pilipinas in 2021. Bosses Pilipinas convener Dr. Imelda De Inla says trust in Facebook as a source of information and distrust in mainstream media resulted in higher susceptibility to false information online. The INLA says there is a big mismatch between the students' perceived ability in identifying fake news from real news and their actual performance in the face of fake news. The same study shows that people who are likely to participate in the 2022 elections have high accuracy in identifying real news. Sony on Wednesday, November 17, releases the official trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, giving fans a closer look at the return of a few familiar foes. The third installment in the Tom Holland starring series sees the superhero seeking out Doctor Strange in hopes of changing the past. We started getting some visitors from every universe. In the new three-minute trailer, fans see more of Peter Parker and Doctor Strange dealing with the consequences of their spell as more villains from the previous Spider-Man films appear. Alfredo Molina and William Dafoe reprise their roles as Doctor Octopus and Green Goblin, both antagonists in the Tobey Maguire-led Spider-Man movies. Jamie Foxx also returns as Electro from 2014's The Amazing Spider-Man 2 which starred Andrew Garfield. It remains unclear whether Maguire and Garfield will appear in the movie. Spider-Man No Way Home is set to premiere in Philippine cinemas on January 8, 2022. Harry Potter stars Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint are reuniting with other cast members for a special 20th anniversary TV special. 
movie studio Warner Brothers announces this Tuesday, November 16. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling will not be among those making a personal appearance on the show. The cast members and director Chris Columbus will join the former child actors for Harry Potter 20th Anniversary Return to Hogwarts. The special will see the cast return to the original Hogwarts boarding school sets featured in the first film, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, released in November 2001. It will be broadcast on January 1, 2022 on HBO Max. 